Looking at the bottom menu, you can see we have various parameters. If we go to Setup, it comes to Expose Submenus. Now the first one we'll look at is the Spans menu, which is here. This is a quick way to change what's on the screen without having to go through the various other methods. So, for example, if we want to look at 8 gigahertz to 100 uh, megahertz to 8 gigahertz, we just click on that, select, and it shuts down to that. Same thing goes if we want to look at up to 3 gig, which is probably the thing that we'll be doing most of all, press select and 3 gig. The minute you come to here, you can see the activity. Now, we're doing this in the center of London, so obviously there's tremendous cellular activity going on here. The red is showing you the historic, and that's uh, literally covering the peak. The yellow is showing you what's actually happening at this moment. If you come to the top here, to give you an example of the speed that this is going, that is how many sweeps it's done in just the short time I've been speaking. And at the moment it's 1,200 sweeps. And already it's now 1,300. So that is roughly going across that uh, spectrum up to 3 gig, probably 3 or 4 times a second. Then we go to the second item on the submenu, which is Detailed Zoom. This allows you to place the zoom here of the complete range that you've already depicted up here. For example, at the moment we're going from 100 kilohertz to 24 gig, so we're going the whole spectrum. But at the same time, we can narrow down our search by using this, and then we can move this along. So that, for example, when we come here, we're looking at a whole load of, uh, I mean, this is obviously cellular frequencies. And again, we're still in Piccadilly, so there's an awful lot going on here. Advantageous because whilst you're looking at one section, you will immediately spot if something comes up under here. The next button, the Auxiliary RF button, is used for a situation where you may need to use an external antenna, such as the one supplied with this unit. Now the Oscar is an extremely highly sensitive receiver and it's quite possible that a very strong signal will overload the effect on the receiver circuitry. To cover this we have two different sections of preamp. From 0 to 8 gig we can change this to for example minus 10 dB and putting that back to normal or from 8 to 24 over here we can do the same thing there depending what we need at the time.